Uh, hello everyone, my name is Dr. Isha Kaul. I am the Associate Director in the Department of Hematology, Oncology, Bone Marrow Transplant at Max Super Speciality Hospital, Vaishali. Today I am going to be talking to you about a very common uh, but misunderstood topic that is anemia. So what is anemia? Anemia is a blood disorder in which hemoglobin, which is an essential molecule of the blood that carries oxygen to all the vital organs is low. The, uh, for WHO describes that for women, normal hemoglobin is in the range of 11 to 13 and for men, normal hemoglobin in the, is in the range of 13 to 16. So any situation in which the hemoglobin is lower than this would be anemia. Anemia in our country is an extremely common problem. Some estimates state that uh, the prevalence of anemia in India is, the, is to the tune of 30 to 40 percent. That is a very, very big number. So almost one third of our country is suffering from anemia. In the developed world, this prevalence due to better nutrition and better understanding is much less to the tune of 3 to 5 percent. So it's very important that we take some time and educate ourselves about this very common problem. So let's talk about some common symptoms of anemia. Anemia can have very, very non-specific symptoms which make it difficult to recognize. It can be something as simple as fatigue, shortness of breath, irritability. In uh, school-going children, it can be something as problematic as poor concentration, behavior problems, leg cramps, paleness of the skin, hair fall, skin disorders. So, uh, because blood circulates throughout the body, any blood disorder can have symptoms that can manifest in very, very different fashions. But these things are the most common symptoms of anemia. Although the symptoms of all anemia are the same, it is important to understand that not all anemia is from the same problem. The, there is a misconception that uh, if somebody's hemoglobin is low, it is always from iron deficiency. So although iron deficiency is a very, very common cause of anemia, it is important to recognize that it is not the only cause of anemia. And even if we figure out that the cause of anemia is iron deficiency, that by itself is not the only solution. Some, we have to go dig deeper and find out what the cause of iron deficiency is. For example, in the case of middle-aged women, a lot of women suffer from menorrhagia or some excessive blood loss during their periods. And because of social taboos, they don't come forward, they don't discuss it. There is a lot of misgivings about discussing it with their gynecologist or seeing a gynecologist. So for these women suffer for you know years and years without recognizing that the symptoms that they are experiencing are because of anemia, which is from their disturbed menstrual cycles. So let's talk about the causes of anemia. One of the commonest causes of anemia is what we just talked about, which is menstrual disturbances in middle-aged women. Uh, one very simple cause is nutritional, where the dietary intake of iron is low. There are other uh, dietary issues also, such as B12 deficiency, which can happen in people with very monotonous diets. This is an issue that we are seeing more and more in the pandemic era, with people working from home, uh, a lot of depression, and lack of variety in the diet and uh, a lot of dependence on fast food and junk food. There can be occasionally some uh, serious causes such as aplastic anemia, thalassemia is one cause uh, which is genetic cause though it's less common. So uh, just the diagnosis of anemia by itself is not the end diagnosis but in order to know how to correct it most efficiently we must evaluate it in a systematic fashion to get to the root cause of the anemia. Now let's talk about some common myths surrounding anemia. Myth number one, it's often believed that, uh, especially in our society, that for uh, women to have a hemoglobin of eight to 10 is normal. This is absolutely wrong. A lot of women suffer throughout their lives living at a hemoglobin of eight, nine, they are able to survive, but it significantly compromises on their productivity, their ability to do their professional work or their household course. The normal hemoglobin for women is 11 to 13. Anything lower than that is a problem. Sometimes the fix is very, very easy. Something as simple as giving uh, oral iron supplementation 
or some injections of iron. Myth number two is that red foods are a good source of iron. So a lot of times people who are diagnosed with anemia eat lots and lots of red foods, whether it is carrots, whether it is pomegranates or beetroots. This is completely wrong. Uh, even though the person may be suffering from iron deficiency, just because a food is red does not mean that it will increase your hemoglobin. The better food sources of iron are in fact vegetables. For vegetarians, uh, lentils, nuts, potatoes, peas, green leafy vegetables are in fact much much better sources of iron and for non-vegetarians uh, red meat is a very good source of iron. Myth number three which is especially problematic in children is about milk being a complete food. We sometimes see children who are drinking two to three liters of milk per day and this is problematic because when their stomachs are completely full of milk they do not eat other foods such as fruits and vegetables and excess milk intake can also lead to iron loss from our intestines. So we see this a lot in our practice and we always try to educate parents that even though milk is an important part of diet, a child after one year of age should be eating a lot of variety in food and milk should be only around maximum 200-300 ml per day. So what happens if we do not address the anemia? So anemia is further classified into mild, moderate and severe. If you are suffering from mild to moderate anemia, which is up to a hemoglobin of 7, you will survive, but your quality of life will be greatly impaired. Your productivity, concentration, energy levels are low. If your hemoglobin uh, goes below 7, which comes into the classification of severe anemia, at that point it can become life-threatening and it can also cause uh, heart failure and even be fatal. So in which case you need an emergency blood transfusion. So just to summarize some take home points and some pearls of wisdom when it comes to anemia. Number one, hemoglobin of eight to 10 in women is not normal. Milk is not a complete food and for children, including a variety of fruits and vegetables in their diet as they get older is very important. Uh, anemia by itself is not an end diagnosis. All anemia does not get treated by iron. We do have to get to the root cause and in older people uh, it has important implications uh, and sometimes they need a colonoscopy or examination to rule out cancers. So that becomes very very important. Anemia is mostly very very easy to correct if diagnosed properly and in a timely fashion. Anemia is a very, very big and unfortunately very under-recognized public health problem in our country and it takes a lot of effort from us and more societal awareness so that we can decrease the burden and the suffering that comes from anemia.